All right, good morning guys. Uh, welcome back to the channel. Uh, we are still currently traveling in our van somewhere in the Alps of France. Um, we've not left yet just because we love it that much. Uh, we woke up at another beautiful spot this morning. Uh, lake again behind me. Uh, cool little van who joined us last night. Little fisherman in there. Um, another mountainous backdrop. Um, yeah, this one. This one over here thinks it's Beck uh, doing a workout and then we're parked up just there. Uh, so yeah, like I say, we've been here for a, a while now. So we are going to slowly start making our way out and we're going to head down and hopefully, uh, if I can convince Emily, we're going to go and see a uh, suspension bridge. So yeah, uh, but be yes, we are. Um, but again, yeah, beautiful spot. Um, yet another national park, yet another lake. Yet again, I don't know where we are, so I'll put a little, put a little thing there. Um, but yeah, brilliant for AJ, loving the dog walking. There is a, a sign that says no overnight camping, but I think vans are generally accepted. It is on park for night, so... Yeah, once this one... I might try and get a few pictures of the lake, because there's a mountain on the other side of it, but the, the clouds are blocking at the minute. But once this one's finished poncing around over there, pretending, pretending to be fit, then uh, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll move on to the next thing. You want to be on YouTube? This is for your fans. Say hello to your fans. <laughs> Say hello to Team Emily. Team Emily are strong. <laughs> Team Emily, this is what I have to look at every morning. Sweaty, oh, sweaty, my, uh, AJ sweaty Betty. Oh, the AJ t-shirt's cool. That's AJ last summer in his hat. Oh yeah. We're just on our way to this bloody bridge that she wants me to walk over and um, we're just I'm just going to show you some of the views because they are absolutely stunning. Sorry for this footage because I am on my phone so sorry guys. <laughs> oh look at that. Such windy roads as well aren't they? Are you concentrate on the road Louise? I'm concentrating on the road Emily. Oh, That's right. So we are approaching the Lac de, de Moor. De Moor, no. She'll drop it in, obviously. Our, our French is not very good. <laughs> so bad. But look at this view. I know, right? That is snow up on the mountains. Look at that. So beautiful, isn't it? This world. Um, can I just say, as uh, the main driver, <laughs> um, like that, you have to drive for quite a long time to get through the Alps because the roads are windy and slow. But you are literally looking at mountains the entire way. I mean, we went on a main road earlier, like a motorway type road, and even that, you're literally just driving into the mountains. It is so well. It beats the M25. Put it that way. <laughs> There's the poxy bridge. <laughs> Look at it, it's so high. Yeah, tomorrow. No. You do it on your own. No, 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 tomorrow. It's my birthday and you haven't got me a gift. Your gift <laughs> is going over that bridge. That's horrible. <laughs> That's not fair. Can I just say that at one point, on. well, what point in the relationship, right? When you first start seeing someone and you see them in discomfort, you like just you just want to like make them feel better, right? And then at some point, I reckon about year two, um, you don't want to see them get better anymore. You just want to encourage it to happen more often. That's not <laughs> nice, is it? I reckon year two. Let me know what you think in the comments when that when that point crosses, because yeah, seeing you suffer is definitely going to be the highlight of France. Right, just watch the road because we're by the edge now. Look at that. Up there. Yeah, I see it. Just concentrate on the road. I can't drive to the road. <sighs> Let's go. Oh, I'm 
but it's very bendy. If I get it wrong, I'll only get it wrong once, will I? Oh, Louise! <laughs> Precious cargo! Repel, repel! Repel you! Alright, good morning folks. So today is bridge day. Uh, <laughs> it's exciting time. So we are parked, what is it called? The Lacta... Lacta Mon Monterrat... I'll put, I'll put it there. <laughs> yeah, we're parked near this lake. Um, there is a, a really cool park up on the bend as you go down, um, but Emily was convinced the van was just going to like flip off the side in the night. So we've had to park all the way down at the bottom. Um, it does say you can't park there in a motorhome, but we've done it anyway because, you know, rebels and all that. <laughs> Uh, but that is the bridge, the bridge over there, Woo. the bridge is yeah over there so we've walked for about what 20 minutes yeah. and probably got about another 10 minutes to go and then Emily's gonna, to be honest I have explained to her that she doesn't have to do the bridge if she doesn't want to um, but I have told her that no matter what it's going on YouTube anyway it's not nice is it? so I don't know how you feeling? <laughs> Hard as nails. Hard as nails. So yeah, we're going to crack on now and get up to the uh, to the top of the bridge. Yeah, and then see how we go from there. We've come really, really early. One because, as you can probably tell by the the funky get up, it is cold. They give rain, and we want to get there before it gets busy because of you know COVID and all that. So yeah, we'll see you at the bridge. The issue is, right, bridges move. Oh, it's all slippery. Love you. F you. <laughs> she got me holding freaking cameras while I'm walking over a bloody bridge. I don't think I can even hold on. There's like, there's nowhere to really hold on to. Oh, honestly. I'm not walking all the way, just so you know. Apparently if I walk to the middle and back, then that's the whole bridge done. getting a bit windy now. Oh god. This is horrendous. Oh, it's getting windy in the middle. Right, let me just try and show you. Because that's me done. <laughs> oh, I've only walked that bit. <laughs> Don't judge me, people, but that's it. I've done it. That's me done, you know. It's so much easier walking back. <laughs> Don't judge me. You going? Yeah, I'm going. Of course you are. No, you safety checked it and I'm <gasps> safe, I'm going. <laughs> Give me the van key in case you fall. No, no. Remember the rules? No, no, if I've got the van key, you're gonna have to save me. If I haven't got the van key, <laughs> you'll just leave me hanging. Too right. <laughs> Right. Know, the van key stays with me for the duration of this trip. There's too many edges for you to, <laughs> to push me off. <laughs> it's quite windy out there as you get like further out and stuff. Right. It feels all right though. Yeah. yeah. Then why didn't you go all the way? Because I don't need to. I saw it. <laughs> you was very brave. I'm very proud of you. Yeah, that's right. God. That that was a good birthday present, Louise. That was a good birthday present. I can't wait to see the footage. <laughs> <laughs> hey Roast, are you just waiting? I oh, know, sorry Pop It. This is Louise. She absolutely loves anything like this, it's ridiculous. It's just charging off down there. Uh, it is a really cool bridge and the views are nice. And as much as I hate to admit it, Louise is right. Say what? 
Louise is right, is right, is right, is right that I do always enjoy the stuff when I go and do it. It's just having the courage to do it. And I feel that as I've got older, the fear is set in a little bit more. Believe it or not, I've done a skydive before, but you know, that was way back, way back in the younger days. But yeah, and if it wasn't for her, I probably wouldn't do half the stuff that I do because she does like push me on and stuff and gives me the confidence to do it. Oh, I hate saying that. But yeah, it is true. She's gonna, she's obviously gonna see the footage. I told you so. But still, she does and it works and I do always enjoy myself, but I was not walking all the way over that bridge because it was too windy. I've just tried it again and I got a little bit further, but no, that's me done. I saw the views, I saw the little river, beach, I think it's actually a beach, but I saw it going round, lovely. That's enough for me. I don't need to go to the other side, it's just trees. I've got them here, done. Right, so that's the, <laughs> that's the obligatory bridge walk done. Um, we are gonna move now completely out of the Alps, so we've got a hell of a lot of driving to do over the next couple of days because the Alps is flooding yes. uh, and we just don't wanna get stuck here. So we're gonna head down towards Marseille not into Marseille because that's full of COVID so and not even the surrounding area but we're going to get down so we're looking at a day and a day and a half driving so yeah we'll pick you guys back, back up then probably because it's just going to be a long drive and that's just boring but yeah but this bridge is worth walking like a quarter of the way out anyway because <laughs> <laughs> um, the view is really nice you don't have to walk all the way out just to see the view and stuff like that. So if you are a little bit of a scaredy cat like me, you can just do a little bit and you still get to see the views, but it is really windy, really, really windy, isn't it? It is, I've tried to get the drone up to give you a, you guys a proper view of what we can see, but I was really struggling against the wind. So, you know, I don't know what those shots are gonna be like. We will see, but for us now, down to Marseille. Yay. So we've been driving for a few hours. It's lunchtime, thank God. Uh, no, we've just pulled over in one of these like little picnic spots. There's loads of them. I'll just try and do a little spin round and stuff. It's quite bright today, which is nice. Sun's out. Um, yeah, there's loads of these along this main road. It's the, the kind of like landscape's changed a little bit now. We've kind of headed out of the Alps. Thank God. We had like a horrible, horrible experience this morning that I'm sure Louise will tell you about. But yeah, so it's been a nice road stop and have a little bit of lunch, let AJ have a wee, and then I'm gonna drive. Yeah, so these little, there's one of these little picnic pull-ins, probably what, about every five miles? Yeah. About every five miles, and they're all really nice. Um, I don't know if Emily said, but the, the landscape since we left the Alps has changed drastically. Thank you. No, I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> She's made me some pre-made sandwiches for the journey, and yes, mum, they are egg. Uh, but yeah, the elastic, the, the landscape has trained, for sake. But yeah, the landscape has trained, uh, <laughs> um, the landscape has changed dramatically. That's it, the landscape has changed dramatically. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna carry on heading down. Um, Emily's gonna drive and then if the weather permits, it's still, it's like one minute it's sunny and then it's ropey again. I'll get the drone out so you can see, but it's it's gone uh, rocky a bit rugged there's a river we've been, pretty much been following a river the whole way down so yeah i'll try and show you guys what we can in and out of the the weather but but yeah so far apart from the little little set to in the alps which was, it wasn't major all right don't try and play it down it was horrendous absolutely horrendous it was bad i wish i wish i'd we'd filmed it but to be honest even i was like a bit oh um, in the moment there was no filming i just about didn't genuinely poop for myself she um she had her eyes closed the whole way it was horrendous except did you tell them about the bridge no we got to a whip for, there's no warning right so you're going down this road there's nowhere to turn around and go back and then we got to a whip restricted bridge um two two meters or something 2 .2. and 2.2 .2, and we was extremely close so um you did have to get out and be chief navigator then yeah. didn't you but no as we got down there we're going down this road and this the way the sat nav goes and i don't know why they send you down here there needs to be a button that you can say that you're bloody van or something and it's st straight away probably is <sighs> someone tell me how to turn it on it was horrendous straight away there's a van coming up the hill and then he made louise reverse back up the hill 
and we're like right by the edge because you can't get past because there's only room for one so that was like the first ordeal and then we're carrying on going down and it's getting narrower and narrower and the bends are getting tighter and tighter and this one bend oh yeah i couldn't get i was oh. too long to get around it i had to do about a four point turn yeah but no that's not the worst part the worst part is the barriers like i'll show you this way the barriers here the van is here and she's having to do a hill start because it's on a hill and she doesn't get it the first time so and that's not her obviously because she's a really good driver but oh my god honestly i had to say i was like i'm not panicking i'm just closing my eyes <laughs> it was horrendous and we was on a proper drop genuinely could have died could have died we could your chocolate milk thank you <laughs> <laughs> Which one? Nothing. I can't believe that's going to let me go. You might want to move the seat. Shut up, you're supposed to be in a dick. Back, you can't help, mummy. earlier is not only has the landscape changed all the buildings have changed as well so before if you can imagine uh, it was very picturesque like Swiss Alpine type looking area uh, now we've come here it's very much um, got a flair of Italy to it I would say with the the stone the stone buildings and the the tiled roofs it's like being in a completely different country isn't it oh yeah definitely we we're only probably what two hours out of the Alps if that Thank God. Well, it should have been two hours. It, was, it took us about four. making the switch back you done well didn't you i did do well yeah done about what 20 minutes no that's a lie you say this minutes. every time 30 minutes you've done that was on for 20 minutes just the first go and then it was at least 40 you do this every time you <laughs> under you under give me my time all right she's done 45 minutes but i actually didn't mind it i thought you'd done i thought you'd done well and then the road got narrow. <laughs> yeah, 
it. We're back on country lanes again now. Sounds like, right, your turn. <laughs> We've got about an hour and 20 minutes till I park up. So hopefully it's a good one. No, we've been lucky with park ups. We've had really nice ones, haven't we? Yeah, we have actually, yeah. France does not disappoint with A, park ups, B, nature, C, scenery, and D, places to empty your toilet. Oh, there's loads. And there's, and not just that, um, like your bins and that as well. There's loads of little places all along the road, in the villages that you go through, bins, and especially this one that we've just been through there, like every village had a part for motorhomes or campers to empty, to fill up everything. Like yeah, there was loads. And they've all got recycle. It's not just bins. They've all got yeah. designated recycling areas. And I will say the amount of litter is minimal, isn't it? Oh uh, yeah. Compared yeah. to what you see, like in every beauty spot in the UK, it's just riddled with litter at the minute. There's hardly, like, even along the side of the road now, there's nothing, is there? It's just clean. Yeah. But yeah, we'll see ya when we get there. Right, good morning guys. Um, so you are picking us up now. We are much further south. Uh, we drove about, I don't know, six hours yesterday. It should have taken four, but because the roads are so weavy, windy, and we're in the van, it takes a bit longer. But that 40 minute uh, shift that Emily put in really did make all the difference. So yeah, we are just, just north and just a little bit west of Avignon. So yeah, we have come quite a way down. Uh, and as you can probably tell by the backdrop, the weather has improved greatly. So we just about managed to escape that storm Alex, I think it was called in the Alps. Uh, so yeah we have found some sunshine uh, the only problem with that is is emily's picked the park up and on her 50 percent success rate she's parked us here now there's the van and we're right behind this massive rock and the sun comes up the other side of it so we probably won't see any sun now till about i don't know lunchtime uh but yeah so we're going to hang around here uh for at least a day or two uh, while the weather's decent and just to like recoup and regroup but we are trying to get south and probably into Spain quite quickly just because the weather is not looking so great so yeah we're staying in this little car park um, it does look decent to be fair there's a hike that starts from this car park that goes up that rock somewhere so probably going to take little legs uh, by little legs I mean AJ and then Emily's like middle legs uh, probably going to take him for a big hike up there today because he had quite a, a long day in the van yesterday after the bridge um, if you are ever in that area I do recommend that bridge we had a really good good time there the bridge is the bridge is pretty cool but yeah, so we're just in a, a car park. It was busy when we arrived last night. Uh, we got here about half four-ish, I think. Uh, so it was really full of locals. So whether it gets busy again tonight, I don't know. But but yeah, so we are gonna walk up that, up that beast there. And uh, yeah, we'll take you guys with us. So see you on the way. There she goes, Captain Happy. That's me. Bonjour. Bonjour. Another little self-build there. Quite a lot of them in France, haven't they? We've seen a few now. Quite a few actually. Yeah. Good ones as well. So there's a sign here. Um, it's about the birds and the nature and stuff like that. <laughs> there's a sign here, it's about the birds and the nature and that. Like, do you want me to get back on camera crew and you do it? Go on, go. <laughs> Louise can't fly her drone, so no. she's not happy. No drones. We can't fly. We can't paraglide. Can't push you off the edge. No. Umbrella. Um, can't take any pornographic pictures. <laughs> um, we can't climb up the rocks. Shame. I know, right? Shame. But I can push you down without an umbrella. Because there's nothing there that says I can't. We'll see who's pushing them, shall we? <laughs> Looks like it's going to be pretty nice. Don't <laughs> <laughs> trip, were you? I wasn't. <laughs> I was laughing at you. Loser. So it's about half eleven now, eleven o'clock ish, isn't it? Yeah. So I reckon if we're up here for a couple of hours, by the time we get back, our van might be in the sun. I'm not even gonna like respond to you. Why not? Because you're being a dick. <laughs> <laughs> Me and AJ have got walking to do, alright? We've got exploring to do. So it's another big hill. France does like a hill. Lou does not like a hill. Don't 
um, because it's in a mood it means we basically have to march to the top of the hill <laughs> which means there won't be too much vlogging because everyone I'm gonna die off she goes leaving me behind flipping useless <laughs> there she is, lazy bones. Are you knackered? It's a long way up, isn't it? It's what? It's a long way up, isn't it? Well, I feel that we've gone at a really leisurely pace. <laughs> I feel that you're a twat. So we're pretty much at the top, I think, nearly. Yeah. Um, but we've had to stop, uh, not because of my ridiculously uh, ability to not walk up hills. This one, this little one here, can't cope with the heights. <laughs> so, so it wasn't me who couldn't make it. I soldiered on, made myself uncomfortable. This one can't be asked. Uh, genuine fear of heights here. I'm feeling sick and everything. AJ's alright though, isn't he? Oh yeah, AJ's good. So, Louise takes AJ when we're going downhill. Especially when the ground is like this. Because I'm so clumsy that I'm just gonna fall over. So, she takes him. And now it's my turn to be at the back and she'll have to wait for me. <laughs> Hopefully we make it back in time for lunch. It might be dinner at the rate that I'm going down this hill. <laughs> but it's really rocky, like really rocky. And it was alright coming up it, but going down you do have to watch your foot in. And I'd imagine in the, the wet and stuff it wouldn't be a good idea. I should have known really from the fact that I saw like hikers with full on like all get up shoes them stick things should have known should have known anyway back to the van for lunch Right guys, so yeah, the hike, pretty good, wasn't it? Yeah, pretty good, pretty arduous, it was pretty tough, but we soldiered on, didn't we? <laughs> um, we're gonna have some lunch, so we'll probably end this vlog here, um, but we are still very much loving France. Uh, so we're gonna slowly meander down now to get to Spain, and we're just literally gonna follow the weather, aren't we? Yeah. Um, yeah. If it looks like it's gonna be crap again, we'll move quickly. If it looks like it's gonna be nice, we'll just go slowly through France until we get to Spain eventually. But yeah, for us this week, that is it. So if you have enjoyed this video, please do consider subscribing. Uh, hit the notification bell to be notified when there's new videos. Give us a thumbs up. And we will see you on Wednesday? Wednesday, we'll yeah. see you on Wednesday. <laughs>